I've done since I've arrived in Amarillo. I've been all over the city. I've been trying to find that it spot, that place where it's happening. And uh, and I think I've found it. Um, everything about this is just, it's almost perfect. Um, the general ambiance, I mean, they've got blues on, the house music, they've got the place beautifully decorated. And when you come in for the mixology course I mean, class, uh, not only do you learn how to make the drinks, you also get to sample the drinks, and you also, Get fantastic food. The food is amazing. Uh, bacon wrapped quail is one of the things we had tonight, and it was absolutely delicious. Look, if you're one of those people in Amarillo who's been looking for that perfect place to go, say on a date night where it's quiet, things are relaxed, you're not going to have to fight with a crowd, you get a nice meal, uh, take in a bit of culture, have a nice, calm evening out with the Mr. or the Mrs. This is the place to be in Amarillo, hands down, hands down. All right, this is a really cool event, guys. So we're here at Copper Fire Grill, and we're doing our mixology class. And it's more than a class. It's really a neat experience. So um, right now, this is their version of the old fashioned. It's, it's really kind of a mixology piece of art when you start learning everything that goes into creating one of these drinks. But it's more than just a drink, so they got us at this beautiful room right now. Uh, incredible amount of food they've brought out, some delicious stuff that pairs along with these drinks. This, this drink here with gin in it is just delicious. It's gin, it's got some champagne in it. Um, and you, even some lemon, and you would think that it's going to be really bitter and tart, but uh, they figured it out where it's just the right amount of bitter and tart, so where you're not like puckering up every time you drink it. Uh, just some delicious stuff to try here. We're learning so much about it, and what's really cool is not only are you learning about how to make the drink, but you're kind of learning about the science. Like, I didn't realize that this drink was developed during World War One, and it was named after, after the uh, howitzer guns used by the French Army, which I thought was really cool. So this has just been a really neat experience. Some, again, delicious food, some delicious drinks, and I uh, can't wait to try the next couple drinks we got coming up. Okay. Right. So then we're gonna do four ounces of the papaya in mango. So we're gonna go halfway in here. Where can I do this? You can do that. Okay. Two of those. I wanna, I wanna feel like the, you know, the real deal. That's the, that's the point of tonight. Let you feel like the uh, mixologist. <laughs> No, it's because I watched like three episodes of Barbie. Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> so then we're going to do two ounces of the 50 50. Okay. I didn't realize when you guys were talking that you and Ernie pre mixed it into this bottle. Yes. yes. Yeah, generally, some, you know, most of the time we'll do separate. We have a bottle of the infused and we have a bottle of the regular. For right. tonight, we just did the 50 50. All right, so we're going to put your cap on. You try and close it while you're doing it. See how it does that? Oh, yeah, okay. The, the lime juice, the lemon juice, the orange juice, and grapefruit juice is all fresh squeezed. Nice. Okay. okay. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Strainer? Strainer. 
Okay, yeah, There's another bottle in there that has the cherries, yeah. the cherries and stuff in there. What? There's another bottle over there. On the bottom the bottom? Mm -hmm. There's another bottle. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna Oh, we're going to shower the cucumber and you are good to go. Thank you, sir. You are very welcome.